More than 2,000 people have died, and over 2,000 others have been injured as a result of a powerful earthquake that occurred near the historic city of Marrakesh in Morocco. The magnitude 6.8 earthquake struck on Friday night, causing destruction to homes and villages on the other side of the Atlas Mountains and historic sites in the city of Marrakesh. Video footage posted online from the earthquake-affected area shows people shocked and in panic, moving through the streets in darkness amidst clouds of dust, trying to find shelter. Morocco's Ministry of Interior announced on Saturday evening that at least 2012 people have died and 2059 have been injured, with 1,404 of them in critical condition. Rescue workers have been working throughout the night, but they report that many roads are impassable, making it difficult to reach the injured and those trapped under debris in some remote towns and villages. It is also reported that several of these areas are without electricity. I'm deeply saddened by the loss of life and the destruction caused by the earthquake in Morocco. Our thoughts and prayers are with all those affected by these terrible hardships. My administration is in contact with Moroccan officials. We're working swiftly to ensure the safety of American citizens in Morocco and stand ready to provide any necessary assistance to the Moroccan people," said President of the United States Joe Biden. Rescue teams have been clearing debris in remote mountainous areas of Morocco on Saturday in a desperate attempt to find survivors after more than 2,000 people died in the deadliest earthquake to hit the country in decades. Morocco will declare a three-day mourning period after the earthquake. According to the Royal Palace, flags will be lowered on all public buildings. At least 2,012 people have died, with another 1,404 in critical condition, according to Morocco State Television Alaula, citing the Minister of Interior. Emergency response services were deployed in earthquake-affected regions, as King Mohammed VI of Morocco ordered the creation of an emergency aid commission to distribute aid to survivors. Offers of international assistance have come from countries such as Japan, France, and the UAE. Witnesses have described scenes of destruction in the foothills of the Atlas Mountains after the earthquake, against the backdrop of a rapidly rising death toll, indicating human casualties. Since 2004, the country had no witnessed such a catastrophe when a magnitude 6.3 earthquake struck the port city of Al Hasaima, claiming the lives of around 630 people. The strongest earthquake in Morocco's history occurred in 1960 near the western city of Al Ghadir, resulting in the deaths of at least 12,000 people. Many Moroccans spent Friday nights on the streets very further after shocks. Health authorities have also called on people to donate blood to help the injured. The Royal Armed Forces of Morocco have warned residents to pay close attention to subsequent aftershocks. Earthquakes of this magnitude are rare but not unexpected in the region. Six nineteen hundred within 500 kilometers of this earthquake, there have been no M6, magnitude 6, larger earthquakes, only 9 M5, magnitude 5, or larger earthquakes, according to the US Geological Survey. At the moment, a three-day mourning period has been declared in the country. We mourn the loss of life in this horrific earthquake. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video to stay informed about the most interesting and popular news among the very first. Your subscription is essential for future viewing of our videos on this channel.